Hi guys! Today we're going to make the double crochet stitch. This is an important stitch to know because a lot of other stitches are comprised of the double crochet stitch. So we're going to learn how to make that today. Let's get started. Okay, so let's do the double crochet stitch. We're going to go ahead and uh, make a slip knot onto our hook. And then you're going to do a chain. Let's do a chain of 12. Okay, so I've done a chain of 12. Whenever you do the double crochet stitch and you work on the chain, you have to skip the first two stitches. So remember that this loop on your hook does not count as a, as a chain or a stitch. So we have this one is the first, this is the second. We're gonna go into the third chain from the hook. This is how they call it whenever you're reading a crochet pattern. So this is the stitch we need to go into. Whenever you do a double crochet, the first thing you do is you yarn over. That's the starting point. That's what's different about the double crochet and the single crochet to start out with. So now I'm gonna go into my stitch and I'm going to grab a loop, come through, coming through just the stitch, not through all the loops. And now I have three loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and now I'm gonna go through two stitches or two loops. Okay, stop here. You have two more loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and go through the last two loops. And that is one double crochet. This is what it looks like. It's like a toggle. I don't know how else I would explain it. And at the top, there is a chain here. Okay, so let's do that again. Here's my next one, my next chain. I'm gonna yarn over first go into this chain, gonna grab a loop and come just out of the actual chain. And I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over again, go through the first two loops, twisting my hook. I have two more loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and go through the next two loops. And that is my second double crochet. So I'm gonna keep working my double crochets. Yarn over first, go into the next stitch, grab a loop and come out. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the next two. Okay, can you see what it looks like? It's important to be able to identify what the stitch looks like so you can count correctly. So this is one, one whole double crochet, okay? It's double a single crochet. You remember the single crochet? We talked about that in a different video. The single crochet has two little legs. Well, look, it's like two little legs on top of each other. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go all the way down my chain. and into my last chain. So this is my chain, this is the knot. We're going in here. Okay, so I've done my stitches all the way across. Remember that we did a chain of 12, but at the beginning we skipped two stitches in order to arrive to the height of our row. So we actually have 10 stitches. If you count backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is the last stitch. And this is my chain that I started out with. So whenever you do the double crochet, um, contrary to the single crochet, we have to chain two when we turn and go on the next row because we have to arrive to the height of our work first. So if you don't do that whenever you get to the ends and people forget this when they're starting to crochet, your work is gonna go in like this. So you gotta make sure that you're chaining two at the end. Okay, 
Okay, and now we turn. And now we can work going across, doing 10 double crochet all the way across our work. So I'm gonna go into the first, which is right here below my chain two. Now there's a whole thing about that, whether people go in there or skip that and go into the next one, don't worry about that right now. We're gonna get into that later. For total beginners, I just tell people you go into the very first stitch, which is right below your chain two or where your chain two is coming out of. This is the first stitch. So you yarn over, go underneath both of the loops, and then you pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, that's your first one. Next stitch, we're going under both loops, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and we're gonna go all the way across until we've done 10 double crochet. Okay, so I've done my 10 stitches, and remember that we're gonna chain two to arrive to the next row. So what's important to remember, and a lot of people ask me this question is, oh, do you skip two stitches again? No, you only skip two when you're on the chain because you don't have the height like we do when we turn rows, we, we chain two. You just skip two when you're on the chain. Then after you've worked the chain, when you get to this side, then you just chain two and go directly in the first stitch. So every time you're working on the chain, when you start out in crochet, you have to skip stitches because you need the height, but you don't do that anymore unless the pattern calls for that. So this is how you do a double crochet stitch. And this is really something that works up fast. Most people like to start projects with double crochet because it's just so fast. Um, what I would recommend that you do now is just to keep practicing and make yourself an actual square um, swatch. So we did 10 this way, so you could do 10 rows up and then you would cut and tie it off and keep it on the side and just keep it as a little sample swatch of what a double crochet looks like. This would be good for you to keep in a little bag or something and you can reference it to look at the stitches and to practice counting and see what you did in the past. Um, so it's one thing to know how to do the stitch. It's another thing to know how to recognize the stitches and count them correctly. So this is something that, this is why it's good to keep practicing, going back and forth and remembering you chain two, you turn and go into every stitch and count as you go and make sure you always have 10 so that you have straight edges. All right, so keep on working on this swatch. Remember the difference with the double crochet and the single crochet. The single crochet, you do not yarn over first. The double crochet you do, and you're doing the pulling through two times versus with the single crochet, you only pull through once. Also with the single crochet, remember that we're skipping one chain on the chain, and with the double crochet, you skip two chains. So anytime you're thinking of making a blanket and you've got a chain, let's say 200 chains, to start the size of your blanket, you've got to always add two extra on the end um, because you got to go up those two chains to arrive to the height of your double crochet work when you're working across. So I hope that was easy enough for you to understand. If it's not, you're welcome to join me in live crochet classes online where we do Zoom meets and we can really go at your pace and you can talk to me as we're doing it if you're really having trouble. Thanks guys for watching, bye.